in this video we will see a question which was asked in accenture on 26th of january so the question says find the <coughs> sum of series so so a series will be like n n plus 2 n plus 4 n plus 18 and n plus n y 8 plus n y 16 and so on so input will be like 35 and output would be n which is coming from here then n y 2 which is coming from here then n y 4 coming from here then n y 8 and this will go on till a number in the low is not greater than number at the top so once it has reached 64 it will give us output as zero so even if we go beyond this we will start getting zero 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 so this would be our stopping point right so we will start writing this program we'll take a scanner to take input from user this we are doing in every program so you must be knowing it by now how to do it print a message to the user please enter a we will declare a variable int num equal to sc dot next int so this line will take input from user and assign it to num now what we will do int sum equal to find sum of series and we will pass num here okay so always create a method don't write everything in main otherwise it would be very difficult for you to trace your program so see now eclipse is complaining that sum of series is not there so just hover on it and create click on create method so your num method has been created for us now we'll declare int sum here assign value as zero and return sum now we will remember our <coughs> logic which was used to find sum of digits in a number or reversing a number so what we will do when we will run this while loop till num is not greater num is greater than zero once it becomes zero we will stop and see our logic is saying we will have to add n as well so here sum will be sum plus num okay now they say we will have to do n by 2. So to reduce this, we will do n num equal to num by 2. And to trace our program, we will print this sum and num. And we will print the output as well. So answer equal to plus sum. Now let's run our program. See, we will give 35. We'll get output as 67. And also we have printed the trace. So we will see what our trace is saying. So when loop run for the first time, what we have done, we have assigned sum equal to sum plus num. So sum is zero and num is 35. So at this point, it has become 35. And here we have done num equal to num by 2. So it has become 35 by 2, which is equal to 17. That is printed here on this line. Now again, our loop will check whether num is greater than 0. Yes, it is. It is 70, right? So now we will again do sum plus num. So sum is 35 and num is 17 so it has become 52 now and num equal to num by 2 so we will divide it by 2 it will become 8 <coughs> so we is our program has printed 52 and 8 again loop will check num is greater than 0 yes it is because it is 8 so we will again do sum equal to sum plus num 
num is 8 now. So we have got 60 in sum. And here by 2, so we'll get 4 in num. So see, this is printed here. Now again, we will check this condition. So sum will be sum plus num. This is 64 now. And num is <coughs> num by 2. So num is 2 now. After that, this is 64 plus 2, 66. And this is 2 by 2, which is 1. Let's see, 66 and 1. Now, <coughs> this condition will be checked again. Num is greater than 0. So it is, it is 1 right now. So sum will be sum plus num is 1. This is 67. And this is 1 by 2. So now it is 0. So this is printed here. And now our this condition will not be satisfied. And this will return from here.